Right. It's time. My friends. My friends. Um, sorry I did not stream yesterday. Um, I ended up sacrificing stream time to see or hang out with a friend of mine instead. Um, that was pretty fun. Uh, other news. Okay, so you may be noticing today we're playing... Hold on, this music's too loud, I think. Um, you may be noticing that we're playing Silent Hill 3 today. I believe it is uh, currently correct. Let me just check the the website just to make sure. Yep, everything's good. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. Uh, so the plan is, um, we're just gonna start from scratch today, I think. Because, uh, what was it? Um, it's been like a year, and, um, I'm just like, I don't know. There's probably some issues if I remember from playing it on emulation. So now that we're playing it on a physical disc and everything, um, I feel like it, it would just be better for me to just start from scratch anyways and just do the two streams that I did where I only did like two hours worth of footage and for a total of four hours. I feel like maybe I, from what I remember, I, I haven't seen the stream like i haven't you know i wasn't i haven't seen like i haven't rewatched that stream really since um i did the I, since i did that so if i remember correctly i was like complaining a lot so um i want to uh try to be a little bit easier on the game this time around at least try to um I ran into some issues trying to get this running, but I hopefully it should be okay now. Uh, I have the manual here. Um, Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Discover the origins of Dracula and the Belmont clan. Coming fall 2003 to the PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system. That's great. Um, this also comes with the soundtrack disc. Um, it's a rated M game. It has blood and gore and violence. That's why we have the wording on the thing. Uh, it says here, um, I want to just kind of read through some of the man manual here. Because I feel like, um, I don't know, there's just something about seeing one of these and having one of these. And it, it sucks because there's no real way to replay this on modern consoles. There's not any real way other than playing a emulation version of it an emulated version of a game from like 20 years ago by the way 20 years ago this game is 20 years old um and wow yeah 20 right 20 uh, 2003 what's the copyright yeah 2003 yeah um, genuinely, like, just, just, I'm just, like, imagining, like, um, <clears throat> I don't know, man, when I, 20 years ago, I was, I couldn't even really have memories, uh, so... Yeah. Something else, huh? Uh, so let's read the back of the, the box first. I need to turn my light on, I think, or just use my, I'll just use my phone light. Ah, shit. Just my phone light and just try to do it like this way. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, no, wait, hold on. It would be better for me to do it like this. I might turn my webcam on so we can see it better. 
It actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Is my webcam connected right now? Um, I think it is. Or it should be. Activate, activate. OBS has crashed. Um, what happened? Hello? Uh, okay. I think we're fine. Let me switch it to one of these. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay. We're fine. Uh, I just accidentally crashed OBS. Um, so, oops. Uh, so I think my webcam is not plugged in. So I won't be able to show the back of this cover. Um, so sorry about that. You can probably find an image online anyways. Um, music ended. Hold on, let me put on. That's, that was just a, a, a I just clicked a, an ad on accident. Okay. Ascend. Blank picture. No, stop doing that. Here we go. So, everything you never wanted to see. Heather Morris lived a carefree existence until her wood was, oh sorry, her wood was, until her world was suddenly turned upside down, trapped and alone in the mysterious town of Silent Hill. Heather must fight sickening monsters to survive and uncover a terrifying connection between her past and her darkest fears. Featuring shockingly realistic graphics. In a cinematic storyline, Silent Hill 3 brings unparalleled horror to life. Game features a new terrifying adventure featuring a new uh, female lead character. This is not a feature, by the way. I don't think... I, I The fact that they're saying that the game, like the actual entire co concept and storyline is a feature, that's, that's, that, that's stretching it there. Series trademark graphics uh, possess even more disturbing detail. Ami, my friend. <clears throat> Breakthrough sound technology brings chilling sounds to life. Frightening new environments to explore, including the amusement park, subway station, and shopping mall. It's like the first three segments of the, of the, of the game. Battle grotesque monstrous uh, monstrosities here. Battle grotesque monstrosities with all new weapons, including a submachine gun and katana. Huh? Includes the official Silent Hill 3 soundtrack with 60 minutes of music. And it does indeed uh, include that on here with um, songs like. Um, Lost Carol. Uh, You're Not Here. Float Up From Dream. Um, End of a Small Sanctuary. Breeze. And Monochrome Night. Sickness Unto Foolish Death. Um, Clockwork Little Happiness. It has all the songs on here pretty much. Um, I want love studio mix and you technically can play this on the PlayStation because it's 60 minutes long I think I think they designed it to where you could actually just play it on the PlayStation 2 so there's that and then we have the manual um, with her face on there again because they didn't really want to try I guess I don't know cringe we have the um read before using your PlayStation 2 Computer Entertainment System. Damn. Computer Entertainment. Hmm. Do not bend it. Do not leave it in direct sunlight or near radiator or some sort sort of heat. Be sure to take an occasional rest break during extended play. Keep this compact disc clean. Always hold the disc at the edges and keep it in its protective case when not in use. 
clean the disc with a lint-free soft dry cloth, wiping in straight lines from center to outer uh, edge. Um, never use solvents or abrasive cleaners. Getting started, starting up prologue, starting the game, controls, menu, save, load, continue, options, characters, and credits. Um, shows you how to actually use your console, since you don't know how to use it. Um, we have controls, movement. Thanks for this. Use the left analog stick or directional uh, directional buttons to control Heather. There are two types of movement controls available, 3D and 2D. The default setting is 3D and the up, down, left, right direction keys will be forward, back, left, and right from the character's view in 2D. Or in 2D, your character will move in the corresponding direction of the directional buttons um, relative to the camera. Control type can be selected on the options screen. Heather will automatically turn to face points of interest, such as items, doors, and uh, that have previously been opened. Hmm. So she will look at a door that you've previously opened if you have opened it before. Moving mode. Press the square button to run. Heather will lock, um, look down, or sorry, look towards items or doors that have been opened. In addition, you can also pick up items when going by doors. Huh? Heather is about to fall off a cliff. As Heather progresses through the game, she may come close to falling off a cliff or into a hole. When this happens, she will teeter per um, precariously on the edge. For a moment, use the directional buttons or left analog stick to stop her from falling. After a few seconds, she will regain her balance. If you try to move Heather um, closer to the edge of a cliff or hole while she is active, uh, already teetering, she will fall in and get hurt. In extreme cases, the game may end. Heather will not fall into any hole or off cliffs when the action difficulty is set to easy. Why did they... Okay. In caution mode, Heather can attack with the X button, will not fall into any holes, will automatically turn to face potential threats, and can guard with the square button. Okay. Battle. When in caution mode, press the R2 button to enter caution mode. Heather will automatically face toward monsters as shown below. Press the X button while facing a monster to attack it. When a um, projectile weapon is equipped, hold down the X button for repeat firing. Searching. Being cautious, attacking with a melee weapon, and attacking with a shooting weapon. Guarding, hold the R2 button and press the square button to guard against attacks. You cannot move when guarding. By guarding from enemy attacks, you can reduce the damage you receive, but you will still get hurt. If you are guarding with a weapon equipped, you will receive 5% of the full attack damage, but... Without an equipped weapon, you will receive 10% of the full attack damage. Okay. That's interesting. Didn't know that. This is very... Detailed. Um, attack types. Oh, uh, the music stopped one. <clears throat> I like this one. Attack types. When using melee weapons such as knives or pipes, different attacks may be executed depending on the length of time the attack button is pressed, or if it is pressed in combination with directional buttons. If you are playing action level easy, pressing the attack button will enable you to use the weapons without holding the R2 button. Wait, what? why? That is such a strange... why? Search view. Pressing and holding the L2 button and the right analog stick will cause the camera to shift uh, to a forward view from behind Heather's back. Use the right analog stick to change your viewing angle. Note, search view cannot be used in all areas. Mm -hmm. Soft reset. Press the select button and the start button simultaneously to perform a soft reset to return to the title screen. Huh. 
I didn't know that. Um, items. Use the directional buttons and the X button to select an item and list the available commands for that item will appear in the command window at the right of the screen. Combine. Sometimes the solutions to a puzzle will require you to use several items at once. Select the item needed to solve the puzzle and combine them into one item. Once the items are combined, use the new item to solve the puzzle. You may combine up to three items. Equip. Equip. The selected item will not be consumed. Um, okay. And you can equip more than one item. Hmm. Power switch. Turn on off the flashlight or radio. If you turn off the flashlight or radio, it will become more difficult to see and hear the monsters. Hmm. Why did they add that? I still wonder why that's even a feature. <laughs> I guess some people, they probably don't want to hear static noise constantly, so I understand that part. That would, be, that would get kind of annoying. Adjust the radio volume. Examine, examines um, items for close weapons. Select and equip a weapon. Press the left and right directional buttons to select a weapon and press the X button to equip it. The name of the currently equipped weapon will be displayed in green, and the weapons icon will appear in the um, weapon column. You can also reload firearms if you have the right ammunition. Yeah, you know, most of these games you want to reload like in the menus and not like during the fight because then you have that animation that you're doing for the reload, which will take too much time. Save and continue. Save the game. Throughout the game, you will see various places marked with a glowing red magic symbol. Face uh, one of these symbols and press the X button to access the save screen. Follow the instructions on the save screen to save the game. Saving and loading. You need a memory card 8 megabytes for the PlayStation 2 um, with at least 364 kilobytes of free space to save. The save data of Silent Hill 3 consists of save, save, uh, save system... Oh, fuck me of system data to save the environment settings and gameplay data to save your progress, you can save up to 40 saves. Caution, removing or otherwise tampering with the memory card for the PlayStation 2 while saving the game may result in a corrupted save file. If this occurs, move the cursor to the corrupted save file and press the button to delete it. Yep, there's no other options. You, you gotta delete it at that point. Continue, when you um, save or load the game, or after you have progressed to a certain designated uh, to certain designated points within the game, the continue option will appear in the title screen menu. Selecting this option by pressing the X button will allow you to continue from where you last saved the game, from the de uh, designated continue point. Load. If a Silent Hill 3 safe uh, data file exists on the memory card, um, the load button will appear on the title screen menu. Select this option and press the X button to access the load screen, and this will allow you to resume at any point in which you have saved, in case you didn't already know that. Options. We have tons of different options here. It's just going to go over everything on here that is already known. I like subtitles. I Obviously, I think I turned that on before we started. Um, screen brightness, which I can't even really tell at the moment, so I can't. I don't know about that one just yet. Let's see. Oh yeah, here's the here's the most interesting part. There's some extra options too that you I guess you can unlock later on or something. Um, blood color, set the blood color, blood volume, so you can actually change the the volume of uh how much blood I guess is on the screen. Hold on. There's like two two more songs on this one. Um, walk and run control. Pressing, uh, select running or walking as default movement type. By pressing the square button, you'll either run or walk depending on the action. Okay. Noise effect. Turn the noise effect on or off. Display mode and adjust the screen sharpness. And then you have the characters. Heather. So these, this is actually important information because these are characters that you will see in the game. Whoa. I swear to God, if there's there better be more than just three characters. The heroine of this story, just an ordinary girl with a bit of a sharp tongue and quick temper. On a typical Sunday, she goes shopping at a at the local mall, and steps into 
a world of nightmares. Terrified of the bizarre situation she finds herself in, um, she nonetheless has the courage to fight back and survive. Claudia, mysterious woman who Heather meets in the uh, distorted shopping mall. She slips through the darkness, leaving behind words fraught with uh, hidden meaning. Could there be some kind of connection between her and the strange appari uh, apparitions that um, menace Heather? And then we have Douglas, a middle-aged detective. For some unknown reason, he is following Heather through the mall. Um, will he prove to be an ally to Heather, or is he an or is he her enemy? I don't know. He never came off as like an enemy to me. He just seemed like somebody who seems to know a lot of answers, and she just keeps ignoring him about it. But I mean, I could be wrong on that part. He could. He could very well be a, a evil villain who's going to kill Heather at the chance that at any chance that he gets. Who knows? And we'll see what Douglas does. I don't know. I always got the impression that they seemed to be um they seem to have some history of knowing each other. So Anyways, let's try to get this game running. Uh, I'm scared. Because it wasn't running before. And then I got it to run. And, um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's scary. So, let's see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm going to turn the sound down as well. I know the sound's going to be a little bit too loud, so we're going to turn it down to 70. This game in particular likes likes to be loud. Here we go. Right, let's see. Let's see if this thing runs and we can actually get game out of this. Um I might even do a Silent Hill 2 replay through at some point for me i feel like these games like silent hill 2 and silent hill 3 like i feel like the best way to play them is on their original you know like in their original way where like you you play you played it on like an old crt or something you know Good times. Some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel. Also, epilepsy warning, of course. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, yeah. This fight. Why'd you spoil the game?
You know, if there's one thing that I, I kind of dislike about Silent Hill 2 and 3 is the intros are like, they spoil all, like, all a lot of the cutscenes that you're gonna see in the game. And Silent Hill 1 doesn't, well, maybe it does do that, does it? I remember there being a lot more original scenes specifically for the intro. I don't remember. I, I, I know for a fact that there's the, like, this cutscene where, like, he's driving in the car. I think his name was Henry, right? Henry was, like, driving in his car or whatever. She goes. Yeah, I don't know what 2D control scheme is like. Because it doesn't explain it well. I feel like the only way you'd really tell is if you just play it and then like just select it and play. So we're gonna do um We're gonna do normal for both of them. Uh, I feel like I don't want to like I don't know, like action level? Yeah, just leave it all normal, honestly, since we never finished the game. Uh, riddles, I feel like I did struggle on that one puzzle at one point. Puzzles are... I would have somewhat of an easier time, but if you've seen me play through... One of the hardest puzzle games I think I played where I actually had to use a walkthrough a couple times was the... um. That one game with, uh, what was it, uh... Still Life 2. So Still- or I think it was just called Still Life. Yeah, Still Life... That game... Had really, really hard puzzles that were just like... Stupid, difficult, and challenging. And I'm not like a puzzle maniac, so I don't play puzzle games like all the time. I'm just gonna choose normal. This is such a- it's such a roundabout way of just saying that I'm gonna play on normal mode. I think I see Gygus. Oh, I forgot to change the brightness level. Oops. I'm sorry, hold on. You guys are probably seeing this at like a darker brightness, aren't you? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Oh my god, you guys have it really bad. I'm so sorry. If there's a way for me to change the brightness level in game, then that would be fantastic. I'll turn it up for you guys. Because, you know, these games are dark. But I also want you to see as much as I can. Unfortunately, the problem for me is that unfortunately, I can see more than you right now. I can see way more than you right now. From what I can see, like if unless the OBS is like tricking me and you actually can see as much as I can, I'm pretty sure you see less than I do. She's like, what the heck? I don't know where you are. You have a knife. Um. Erm. Um. Alright, now we can actually play the game. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go to options. Let me turn up the brightness. Okay, good. We can do this here. Adjust until the lines appear faint. You guys literally can't even see the lines. Hold on. Is there some way I can make this brighter? 
Let me let me see if I can fix this for you guys. Uh, filters. Can I add a brightness? Oh, gain. Here we go. Let's try a gain. Let's see. No. You just straight up can't even see the lines. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to do a guesswork or a guesswork then. So we'll start at we'll start at the highest amount. And we'll just go from there. Let me just make sure I actually got rid of that filter. Okay, I did. Good. Okay, let's let's try to do some guesswork here. Let's see how bright it is for me. No. It might I might have to just fix my own settings. Oh my god. Okay, that looks a lot better for you guys from what I can tell. So let's 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 do some tests here. So this is how much you can see now, right? So you can see it. Let me So we can let's see a good test would be here. So this is what it looks like here. And then we'll go ahead and change it to brightness level one. Or we'll change it to what would be better for me. Wait, what? No fucking way. Literally, like, if I change it to zero, like, at level six, it just stops existing for me. So this is what it looks like for you guys now. Are you ready? Here we go. That is fucking dark. That is super dark. Like this this looks good though. I do I do kind of like how dark it is a little bit, but it's too dark, you know. Hold on. I do think it looks pretty good. Uh we'll go to level three. Or let's go to five because I wait, hold on. So seven is is as much as it goes. So we'll go to level three. This is how much level three looks like. Let's just kind of take a gander here. Yep, that's good. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It still looks a little dark for you guys. It looks like um, I turned like a filter on or something. So what I'm gonna have to do, it lo this looks perfect for me. But I think it, I just need to fix my settings on my monitor and actually just make it darker instead of just having it. So it says uh, until it, f uh, it appears. So like here, the line appears faint for me. So let's go to, f let's go to f five. Let's see how this looks for you guys. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to make it, um, we're gonna have to make it, like, level 7. That's gonna be the best, best way, and then I'll just turn the brightness down on my monitor. Let me see here. <clears throat> so then it looks more like what you guys see. So it's a little better. It's a little better. I just have to figure out which button it is on my monitor. Okay, so yeah, that looks about as much as I could see, I think at level 3, this is about as much as I could see before. Now at, at level 7, I can pretty much see everything, which is not exactly what I want to see. I want to have it at about what you guys have. That's game mode, I don't want game mode on. Come on, I have to move this thing out of the way. So this button right here turns the monitor off. I think this button... That brings up the controls, okay. Oh, that's right. I've never messed with the settings here. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, I never messed with the settings on this computer. I just turned my monitor off on accident. Oops. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm gonna go back to gamer mode, and I'm gonna turn that- That's gamer mode 3. That's racing, and it just made it RTS, FPS, off. 
Okay, you know what? Here, I'll just... No. Here, just... I don't want Gamer 3 or any of those. Just give me... This is the power. This is the... Actual controls. Here, let's go to contrast. And then I guess I'll turn it down. So now I can't see anything. We try to match like what you guys got. So f for you guys, you kind of have it at like not even like 40 okay so wait hold on you know what here I'm gonna make this at yeah that's fine 47 that's fine and then let me move it down this is super annoying to do let me turn down the brightness I think that's what the problem is the brightness is too high there we go yeah brightness is way too high I'll put it down to zero I'll, I'll put it I'll put it up to I'll put it to 50 because I feel like that makes sense um come on there we go okay I'll make that 62 Okay. I think that looks fine. That's the- I just turned the monitor off again. Alright, this will do. Um, I think... It looks about the same as what you guys can see now, pretty much. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hello. Hey. It's a giant rabbit costume. Why would this be here? Well, can I like talk to you? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. My, um, my, uh, my thing just died on us. shit all day. Okay. What's the problem now? Great. Right when we were getting some... My solution was to um, turn this off. So I shut this down and then I tried to shit. So what I did was I unplugged the stuff here. So now it's not plugged in. And then I replugged it in. This is what seemed to work. So I replugged this in. And hold on. It's back in. Okay. And then I booted up. I also restarted my computer. Um, game capture. This is the the stupid box that I'm using. It's. I might need to get a new one. I think. So then I booted this up, and then... There we go. Voila. We'll come back to it and fix it again. Um, as soon as it decides it's just going to die on us again, which it will. 
So just be ready for that. It's almost like the game is haunted. It almost has like its own weird charm to it. Because it makes it even worse. And it's gonna be like the like screen's gonna start like fucking up and everything. I like how it's not even like entirely actually behind her. This is probably the worst, like the search mode feature that they they mentioned here. This is probably like the worst possible. Like it doesn't do anything here. You have to hold down the L2 button. This has to be one of the worst like controls ever for like a camera. Instead of just giving you a first person camera, which would have made more sense in the search mode, uh, they give you like this weird ass fucking broken ass fucking shitty like whoa dude. I'm trying to look over here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, we can't go there. We might be able to just walk around it. No. Um, we can also look at our inventory. There's some information here. Memos. I have a map. My chest pocket must have, uh, must have a darkness, and then it's a small portable radio. It plays static when monsters get close. Why do you know this? Yeah, I want it to be, like, super loud. Yeah, examine. It won't play normal stations. Is it broken? But monsters will notice me more easily when it's on. Huh. Good to know. Yeah, we got all these weapons here. We got a knife. We got an SMG. So, for whatever reason, we have the knife equipped. Um, steel pipe about three feet long. Not very powerful, but... Not hard to use. I would say that it's this is better, even though it's a it's a lie. Can I switch? Can I equip this as well? No, I can't. It says you can equip multiple weapons though on the the mission uh, the thing. We could equip it. Oh, I see. What happens if we equip it? So we want to hold it down to do a strong attack. Yeah, th we don't want to do we don't want to do the um the light attack. We want to do the strong attack. The um bonk, bonk, bonk. I can turn the light off. I'm a map of this area. I don't know what to tell you. And you can also control with the um, the directional sticks or whatever, that which is worse. I feel like there's a hole there. What's this? Huge map signboard. Wait. To the north is that is if I keep going the way I'm facing, find the roller coaster. Is this map an amusement park? I think it can get hit by the roller coaster or something. Hello, dead rabbit. This giant rabbit costume, why would this be here? Not to mention the blood on it. I just wanted to... Anything in the trash? Any goofy, goofy goober stuff in the trash? Can I look at this and talk about it? It's a popcorn wagon, but no one's here to sell it. Where did they go? I don't know. It's nighttime. Why would they be open at this period of time? I mean, I guess they're... I guess some carnivals, right? They are open pretty late, right? I guess. I want to go here. Get out of the way. 
I can't. I can't because it, it's blocking our, our path. I'm gonna get in caution mode. Another rabbit. Can't even really look at you. I gotta check all the trash cans for items. Actually, to be honest, none of this will matter, so. Might as well. We're shut tight, it won't open at all. Let me try the other way. Or the other one. I'm guessing, uh, we're actually- the entrance is behind us the whole time. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, I've completely forgot that- I guess there's supposed to be a door over here. Right? Yeah, yes. I think this is a door, right? Yes, it is. It is, in fact, a door, I think. Are you a door? I don't know what you are. It's dead. There's another doggy. Weird, like, meat dog. Let's go over here. If I can. That doesn't go anywhere. I think we have to go over here. Lock's broken. Yay, it's this area. Hey, remember this place? It's the Freddy Fazbear's. Rabbit stuffed animal here. Yeah, there, there is. Alright, so... <laughs> I already know the puzzle at this point. Uh, there's like a... What's this? I'm assuming you type toys here. Huh, never thought I'd say normal in a place like this. Ha 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 ha. Wait, oh, maybe that's not till later. I might- I must be thinking of something else. There's the blood-faced rabbit again. Heart stay is stained red. It's almost like blood stains. Disgusting. It's raspberry jam. Look, this place used to be like... Carnival or something. That's where cashier would be. Um... Where candy would be, I guess. Door's broken and the, you can't open the door. Door is impassable. You will never be able to open this. Is there like a isn't there like a map or something here? Or am I just oh look, these are on sale. Sale. Some stuff. Surely there will be something that I can pick up here. There's a lot of different styles, but I don't really want any of them. 
getting out of this nasty place. If they had any tools now, that'd be a different story. What is she talking about? I looked at like a random thing and she's like, Oh, look, gotchas. What kind of gotchas do they have? Oh, yeah, of course. Can't beat the Shinmu ones. Those are great. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's try to fight the funny monster. Hold on, wait. Let me switch to the pistol. Let me try the pistol out and see if I can kill this monster. I gotta switch to my, um, middle pipe of death. Yeah, you just kick it a couple times and it'll die. Easy. Yeah, I hate the static noise. It's kind of annoying, you know? It's like every room. You gotta hear that shit, you know? There's something about this mountain coaster. Oh! It's probably where they want us to go, maybe. Who knows? Do you go somewhere? No. Alright. Ooh, gotta check the trash can. No. Kind of wish there was a message or something that was like, um, why are you trying to check out this trash can? Um, got that out? Um, there you go. How many bullets do we have? 17. I don't have a lot of bullets. I guess I'll just switch back to the, the funny this thing. Oh, there we go. Alright, static sound noise. Get ready. Here it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Ow. 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 Do I have any... How's my health doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Wait. What happens if I just turn this off? Nothing happens. Okay. It's locked. Now we get on this and then uh, she gets hit by like a... Whatever you call it. She gets hit by the um the roller coaster. Num 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 num. Can I go this way? No. She's dead.
What a nightmare. What a nightmare. Happy Burger. There it is. <laughs> Dad, it's me. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. My thing's dying. Which is the worst possible time for this to happen. Okay. Hold on. My thing's dying. Hold on. Are we okay? Hold on, I'm gonna do something. Um, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a funny goof. Uh, we're gonna go back to the menu and then we're gonna die immediately and then we're going to um. Uh, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna move on. Actually, I want to see if there's more to this area. To be honest, um, I thought there was, but I could be wrong. I think there's literally nothing else. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, hold on. Let me actually look and see. Wait, what is this? Hold on. I'll get back to you in a second. Wait, Silent Hill 3 is the sequel to Silent Hill 1? <laughs> Excited Amusement Park intro. Okay, well, there's more to this than I realized, and I really do want to try to get as much as I can out of this, so hold on. Okay, so I guess you come back here later. I'm just going to assume you come back here later. Um, because there was nothing in the souvenir shop originally. And, um, I guess there was really, truly nothing here. But I do want to watch the cutscene where she gets hit by, uh... I want to see her get hit by a uh, roller coaster, if that's possible. Here we 
we go. She's like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the heck? She's like, oh my gosh, what the heck, what the heck? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, what the heck? What the heck is going on? The heck, Morty? Gotta get to the, uh... Gotta get to... The, ra the roller coaster. So we get on here, right? And then, um... Nothing there. So we're like, oh my gosh. Yay, we got past the part. Alright, now we can die by a roller coaster. Here we go. Okay. We did miss the cutscene. I wanna I wanted to see this cutscene. I'm guessing we come back there later, or something. Surely there's no way for you to be able to ride the roller coaster. Surely. Alright, well, we'll watch this cutscene again real quick, anyways. Uh, I was getting scared. There's no way to actually pause the cutscenes, so I'm hoping that the thing doesn't happen midway through a per like a cutscene we need to see. It's going to be very annoying if that happens. What a nightmare. Daddy. Dad, it's me. Dad, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. I will never understand why, um, some women still call their fathers, like, daddy. After they're, like, an adult. My sister does that. Oh, there we go. To talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. 
I'll wait here. Mark on this mirror, it looks so familiar somehow. What do I know uh, know it from? Where do I uh, where did I once see it? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? There's a creepy ass face. That is not the time. Bathrooms are fucked, by the way. It sucks that this song is like... I don't know how often they play it, but I feel like... They don't play it enough. As soon as you just leave this... Place, it's like it just goes away. It sucks. I love this song. Road is blocked with empty boxes and stuff. I can't get through. Come on. Really? You can't just climb over it? This is has to be like one of the dumbest things ever. Like you want to get away from somebody. Instead of just climbing over the boxes, getting on top of the dumpster, then climbing over the fence. You're just like, there's too many boxes. I don't wanna I I don't I don't want to. I this just I just can't get through. I like the ex excuse for the truck or the van over here. This one's this one's also pretty good. It's like, how did they even fit in here? Why would they even bother doing that? Hey, you know, if it was in the way, you could just climb on top of the vehicle. <laughs> That's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. How did this car? Arc here. Never mind. Whatever. Can I actually talk about the windows? No, they're just, it's just dark. It's funny how in this game it just starts. You, you walk through a door and now suddenly you're in Silent Hill. Welcome to Silent Hill. You're here now. 
Hey, guess what? That door that you're going into, it's locked now. Oh, no, it's not. Lock is broken. I can't open the door. I like how, like, that's so convenient, huh? Very convenient for them to... Let me... Hello? This place sure is empty. There's lots of stuff posted here, but nothing useful. Why are you trying to find something useful in this? That doesn't make any sense. What, what's going on in your head, Heather? What are you talking about? The locker won't open. Guess I'll just have uh, leave it alone. Why are you trying to open up lockers, Heather? What's going on? What's the deal? Why are you doing that? The door is shut tight. It won't open at all. How convenient. Gotta walk through their their specified path, huh? What is this poster? What does that say? The... The revolt of turn Ow. Isle of turn Isle. Who? I don't have a flashlight of some sort. Hello? This must be an abandoned part of the mall. Clearly. We have cosmetic apparel. The fireproof shutters are down. I can't get past here. Damn, that sucks. This is just straight up closed. Lock is broken, can't open the door. I have a map to this area. You don't have anything. Heather. More like stupid. Got him. Watch Christopher. Wait, what? I could watch Christopher? Shit! Oh man. I really wanted to watch Christopher. I was kind of curious. What could they have been selling? What could have Christopher been doing? That was worth watching. Maybe it was one of those VTubers. VTubers. Centurio Square Shopping Center. Fancy goods. You're locked. At least this place isn't locked. I think there's a cutscene here. Oh God. Let me just randomly pick up this gun. Oh, 
Oh my god. It's a meat monster. I... Can't even tell what that's supposed to be. Stay back. Get the hell away from me! Oh, wow. I just realized my controller actually has vibration. <laughs> what? <laughs> the easiest enemy in the game. You'll never get an easier fight than this one. You need to kick it. It's a, a monster. I killed it. I, I didn't read the half that text that it said. So. Not that I hate clothes, but this isn't the time or place. Um. Um. Shop counter particularly catch my eye. I don't know, you seem to be really looking at something over here. So, I don't- I don't know about you, but I think you do in fact see something that I don't. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this moment to actually try to find something. I guess not. Well, we have a gun now with zero ammo. Oh yeah. Daisy Villa Apartment 102. It's carved into the key. What is this one? Pendant. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's some of my tr most treasured belonging. There's a jewel inside, like a little red tablet. When I asked Dad what it was, he said, Just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Okay. I guess I, I, can't, I can't ignore what Daddy says. Not powerful, but easy to use. With zero bullets. There we go, we got some handgun bullets. Okay. It's kind of hard to see it. Gotta reload that gun, baby. And then we never use it. And we equip the switchblade instead. And then just never, never, ever, ever use the pistol. <sighs> oh, damn. Look at the, um, that, um, what do you call it? Uh, anti-aliasing going on right there. Oh. There is something on the ground here. I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. Uh, it's a dressing room. I don't need to go in there. But what if there's loot? You, what if there's loot, Heather? You're in, you're in a monster world now. You're in Silent Hill now, Heather. You need to fucking learn how to survive. You gotta stab. You gotta live and let die. That's a really good course. Alright, we gotta find this map, Heather. It's locked. This door isn't. It's unlocked. Where does this go? We turn around and we, we fucking leave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that got me. Ah, oh, the finally, a map. Got the shopping mall map. Fantastic. Let me take a gander here. Okay. Okay. So we went in there. We don't need to go in there again. We don't need to go in there. Unless we really wanted to save. 
Okay. There's staircases. We could use that. Hold on. I think my game's dying. I think it's dying again. Are we okay? Are we good? Hold on. Okay. There's a way for me to fix this real quick. No, wait. Hold on. I think we're okay. Alright. We don't want that to keep happening. But it's going to happen. That's the worst part about it. Push the button, but the elevator won't come. Is it broken or something? Okay. That means... That's good. We want that. I think that's just the flickering from the actual light and not actually from the game. Hold on. Let me... I'm gonna fix... We're gonna fix this again. It's getting a little too wacky right now. second. I think what's happening is, um, I think this box, this thing that I have here, this, um, AV to HDMI thing, it's getting too hot, and whenever it gets, whenever it gets hot enough, um, it starts. Better. There we go. Okay, that's just straight up pure white. What's going on here? <laughs> now we're just playing uh, Silent Hill 1. <laughs> we're playing Black and White. Where's the thing? Work with me. doesn't want to work. Plug it again. And then... Oh, I guess you, uh... Nobody tries to take my trick or treat and gets away with. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot the other step. Oh my gosh. I forgot about the other step where I have to actually close the application. Okay, hold on. I need to close the application. And I need to take these out. 
I need to unplug this, and then I need to plug these back in. White, red, white, red, all that stuff. And then I need to turn it back on in capture. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is going to end up being, we're not going to get back out. My goal was to get exactly where I ended off. Um, and then it would just be one stream instead of like two. But, uh, this is happening today. Playing white mode. Hold on. It's, it's like, a it's like I'm recording my TV screen. You know, honestly, what would fix it? Oh, okay. Apparently unplugging it and then plugging it back in. Literally, literally there is no logic to what fixes anything in this at all. There's no logic to anything here. Hopefully this is... It, it, uh. Oh, the sound. Oh, the sound. Oh. The... You know what? We'll live with it. It's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine, I swear. Uh, hi. Hi. Whoa. Shower fell exactly on my eye. I meant salt. I meant soap. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a crusty stream today. Um, since you haven't been here, so w what's been going on is um my AV to HDMI box uh, is like dying live, uh, constantly, and um like every once in a while um, it just makes it harder to deal with. Uh, so, if you hear the crust and the noise in the audio here, it's it's because this AV to HDMI thing sucks ass. So just in no enjoy the crust that we're getting from this, because this is the best we've gotten so far. Oh, yeah, there we go. Heather, you idiot. Uh, it's a feature. Okay, I think we opened all the doors and they're all bad. We gotta go up the stairs. Oh, oh the crust. Oh. Wait, is that a fire extinguisher? I can't tell. 
God, I, I want to fix this so bad. Okay, I'm going to do something dumb. I'm going to... Please fix everything, please. I'm begging you. Nope, okay. We're just gonna get crust, crust audio now. Just whatever. Fuck it. Fuck. Just shut up. Stop that. Stop that. Make the music stop. Stop, please. <laughs> please stop it. Stop. Okay. Where are we? Oh, we're in the second floor now. I remember this place. I remember all about this whole section when we first did it. Locked door. Locked door. There's a lot of useful stuff here. Nothing useful. Pull the fire alarm. I would honestly just use the fire extinguisher here as a weapon. There's, there's a, oh, it's a JPEG, never mind. I hate it when that happens. You go to grab a fire extinguisher, there's a fire, and it's just an image of a fire extinguisher in a box. I hate it. I hate it when that happens. Let's go into here and grab some items. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, there's a funny dog. Hello, doggy. You're never gonna win against me. I have the power of dexterity. Yeah, that's right. Stop that. Stay dead. Stay dead. Stay dead. Stay dead. Okay, now you're dead. What were you grabbing? Can I... There's a lot of stuff, but none of it really looks that useful. Except for this. It's beef jerky. Dogs love beef jerky. You also like bacon as well. And other random stuff. No, don't go through the door. There was more stuff in there. You gotta you gotta think about the There surely there's more here, right? No, there isn't. She has nothing to say. Okay. Are you gonna talk about the, the weird like my dog eats ice. My- I've had, uh, my sister's dog, uh, it was, it's a husky. And he, like, he'll, like, pick up the ice or whatever. And then, um, he'll, like, kind of look at it, then kind of lick at it, and then just kind of don't know what to do with it. And then slowly eats said ice. Like, slowly picks it up instead of, like, being excited about it. What is this? Uh, two more doors or four more doors and none of them work. Nope. Here we go. Okay. Health drink. Health drink. Handgun bullets. Crust audio. Wait. What are you looking at? What do you see? Could it be? A key! Something's fallen between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table. Uh, full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something uh, that heavy. Fucking God. <laughs> God, she is so fucking lazy. 
Just fucking move it out of the way. It's not that hard. There's a bunch of boxes here. Doesn't look like there's anything useful uh, inside any of them, though. You didn't even- you didn't even check. I already know you. You're just saying that, but you didn't actually check. Fucking liar. I don't- I don't- I The magic thing, yeah, you look at it and it, it makes crust noise. I'm- I want to fix the noise so bad. Uh... Here's my solution. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to like... I guess I'll have to- I'd have to do everything all over again, wouldn't I? Uh, never mind. I'll just deal with it. I regret everything. I regret everything. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I'm Fidget with it, it'll stop. 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 <laughs> What's going on? It's the Matrix now. <laughs> stop. Oh, my God. My ears! Okay. Alright, let's just... Let's take a second, okay? Alright, hold on. <laughs> Let me just unplug it, okay? Okay. Let's redo everything. Redo it. Yeah, in game capture. We'll just do the th thing that I did before. Unplug this. Unplug this. Unplug this. Plug it back in. Plug this back in. Plug this back in. Okay. Plug this in. Okay. It, it matters where this is in. It has to. It works. Just like that. Okay. I fixed it. For now. All right, gamer ghosts. We can actually play the game now. All right, what's uh, what's what's over here? It's locked. Okay, cool. What's this? Nothing. What's this? Locked. Okay, I guess we gotta go. There's only one real way to go. We never went down this way. <laughs> We gotta find a, like a magnet or something. What are you do nothing. You're still dead. Stay that way. It's locked. We gotta get the pipe weapon. Wait. Alright, there's monsters in here. Yeah, here we go. 
So, um, if I remember correctly, there's like a bunch of doors here and like none of them do anything. So you just have to run at them and then it'll tell you that they're locked. You just keep doing that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, just ignore me. There you go. Hold on. The, the camera's fighting me right now. Oh god. Ow. Okay, so it's locked right now, but you can't open it later. Oh wait, stop it. You guys are, are a bunch of goofballs. We're gonna cut that out. Locked. One of these works, I just don't remember which one it is. Is it you? Is it Helen's Bakery? Yeah. It's Helen's Bakery. Yay, welcome to Helen's Bakery. It's bread. I'm not really, uh, hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. Are you, are you almost dead? No. You're fine. There's no employees around. I wonder where they all went. <laughs> you know, considering what you're seeing right now, I don't know where... Why you're worrying about that? Just saying. Helen's base bakery, crispy toasted bread right to your very door. Everything on sale. There's a flyer, crispy toasted right uh, every door. Everything on sale. Helen's bakery. Okay. It's. If you click it five times, does it like do like a jump scare? Where, where, where all the employees went. Where did all these employees go? Look at all these, like, this perfectly good food. That does not look like bread. That looks like a pizza. It's bread. It's not bread. It's a donut, and it's a pizza, and it's a muffin. You're an idiot. So stupid. Tongs. Wow. We got a pair of tongs. I guess I better use those. Alright. I'm gonna go in here and then go use said tongs over here. I'm gonna not worry about the funny monsters till later. Get ready. I'm in caution mode. You don't want to mess with me in caution mode. Now I'm in search mode. Now I'm in caution. Now I'm in search. Caution. Caution. I went into the wrong room. ADHD moment. Now we're in the right room. You know what's funny about that specific sound is that was that was exactly um that was like the sound they they put it in there to mess with people who think like the idea is that either you're in the basement or you're in like a a floor and you have a floor above you and that sound is specifically supposed to scare you. While you're like, you have like the TV turned up to max and it makes, it's supposed to make you think that there was somebody on, in the second floor of your house. That's what that was for. Alright, time to use the tongs. Use it. Oh, she's doing it. I did it! I got the key taken with tongs. I wonder what the keys at. You'll have keys and it doesn't tell you anything, but what you gotta do 
as you examine it. It says, there's a tag on the key that says, my best sellers. My best sellers, a bookstore key? And it still says key taken with taunts. Okay. Maybe that was in Silent Hill 2. Or maybe that was in Resident Evil. Oh, that was in Resident Evil 4, that's right. My bad. Did I get this door? I did. Nice. Alright, here's the first puzzle of the game. You ready? This is a very nice room, by the way. I like this room. Or this place. Like, this looks- this looks comfy. You know? Looks very comfy. Oh, the books are very interesting. Just the kind that I can buy anywhere. Oh, fuck you. Alright, fix this up. Alright, so here's the puzzle. The funny puzzle part. So... The rules are like something like uh, you gotta read like the books or something. And I think you gotta put the books back to where they were, if I remember, right? Yeah, you put them back in the slot. Right? There you go. So now we want to place the books to line up perfectly. So we want to do, so if we examine them, you can kind of see four... Kind of looks like the bit middle. That kind of looks like the middle. This looks like the end. And this looks like... So, let's do the second one. Would you like to place the book? Oh, okay. Now you can actually just do this. Okay. No. Nope. So eight, and then there's four. And then... No. This one, and then finally this one. There you go. Nine, zero, four, eight. You just go over here, and then you just put in the password. Nine, zero, four, eight. It's unlocked. You just go in. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? 
have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me your true self as well, also that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? The hand of God. Hold on, we gotta back up for a second here, alright? Look. You gotta understand that there's some doors that you missed, alright? You gotta you gotta turn yourself around and you gotta go find a, a light thing. Well, it's locked, so I guess I'm not going that way. This door isn't... Okay, yes it is. This door isn't, though. Okay, yes it is. It's okay, whatever. Um... Uh... Okay. Wait. This is new. There's lots of things posted on the bulletin board. Notices, schedules, stuff like that. I don't think they're important. No, wait, that wasn't new. Go this way. Wait. Let's let's just ignore the the weird people singing. Just ignore them, Heather. They're not real. It's just voices. It's the hand of God. There's nobody there, Heather. It's okay. Gotta focus. Oh, uh, what's going on? Uh. Oh my god, that took forever. What the fuck? What's going on? Oh no. <laughs> A radio? What the hell is this thing doing falling down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. All, um... But all it's picking up is static. I wonder if it's broken. Got a radio. Heather, you don't have a flashlight. The fuck is that? Huh? 
Uh oh. Not even a kid could believe in this. But when am I going to back off? <laughs> Oh. Ah shit. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Ah shit, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, I need healing, I guess, right? No, I don't. I don't need healing. I'm not I'm not dumb. I'm not I'm I got this. Here we go. Uh there's nothing else here. Good. Okay, okay. <clears throat> let's let's take a breather. I have a knife, and I don't really have anything else. Uh, you. Yeah. It's an. I got an am 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 pool am pool. I got an am pool. And uh, doesn't look like. Okay, that doesn't do anything. This knife is dull. It's a dull knife. What is an ampule? Ampules. This is the stuff that'll wipe out all the pain and help recover my strength. It's full of nutrition and should help me recover at least a little of my strength. So this is like super potion and this is like okay potion. And this is beef jerky. Can I eat it? I want to eat it. Let's equip this. But can I equip multiple? No, I can only equip one. Again, the manual lied. It keeps lying to me, and it's annoying. Okay, well, uh, if there's nothing else in here for me... Books are... There are books and magazines here, but I have no time to read them. I would, I would just, I don't know, I, I feel like uh, this again, it keeps hurting me, but I keep remembering it. Okay. It's okay, Heather. You tried. I put my trust in you. Alright, uh, yeah, this place, I think, is... Oh, we actually do, in fact, have a map here. Uh, I think from there, most of these doors are locked, but we have to go through them. And there's dogs everywhere. Locked. 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 Okay. Uh, I think that's the right way to go, but I want to go this way. Miss this door. Doggy! Ow, fuck. Ow, stop it. felt that one. Wow. Like, her just literally panting after, like, fighting that monster with a literal butter knife. Yeah, I felt that. That, that was- I, I would have been fucking struggling as well. I would have been like, ah, fuck. I'm gonna die here. It's still- it's still really dark for you guys. Uh, guys. Uh. It's really dark. Uh, no. Okay, wait. 
Wait. Wait. So this is just a dead end. Wait. Door. Door. Locked. What is this? What is going on in the corner of that area? It's the munch room. I didn't like that noise. That that one that one was was that one was scary. I didn't like that one. He's munching on something. Oh fuck. Fuck, okay. Hold on. Gotta use the pistol at this point. Ow, fuck. Ow. I, I, I'm dead. Wait, what? Huh? Game over. I died? I guess that's it. It's over. Well, at least I know all the other doors don't do anything. So, uh, I guess I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna go. And then I guess avoid all the monsters or whatever. Okay, uh, erm... Um, um, I guess I'm just not gonna fight these guys until I get like a sh the secret ray gun. Once I get the secret ray gun, then I will I will fight all the monsters here. Hello? Oh yeah, this is the- the- okay, so you see this switch? We push the switch. And you turn it off, and then it reveals the flashlight that you can then use. And you get a flashlight. There you go. I remember... I remember. Warning. When leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights it will be very obvious if they are not switched off. Yeah. That's true. What is this? First aid kit? We got some handgun bullets. Alright. We can now not use the ammo and continue to not use it. Even if we have 50 bullets. Or well, 60 bullets. We just never use the ammo. Ever. Let's just turn the lights off now. Ooh, spooky. Well, I'm just gonna leave them off. <clears throat> we still have a couple doors. I, I'm trying to remember the exact layout, like, what I need to do, because a lot of them are, like, closed or whatever. Oh, yeah, the, the funny bathroom scene. Alright, let's do the funny bathroom scene.
What did I pick up? Huh? I picked up bleach. From the toy that I think I might... I think I have... Can I use this? No. Oh, says danger, do not mix. Hmm, mix with acidic detergent and it'll produce poisonous chlorine gas. Sort of stuff that you'd use to clean a toilet. Oh, okay, so we want to mix, we want to get acidic detergent and then mix it together to create a poisonous gas. Thanks. Alright, let's do the funny joke. Ugh, oh, a filthy toy that just looking at it gives me the goosebumps. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Um... It'll work, right? Oh, man. We were doing so good. We had, like, audio and everything. Man. This sucks. Uh... <clears throat> And do the whole thing that I did before of these. Plug them back in. Close the application. Why can't why can't things just be easy? Alright, now we plug it back in. Does that work? No, it doesn't want to work. Why do you hate me? Oh shit, I just fell. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I hate this. I hate this. I hate what happens when I don't have reliable technology? And there's no real way to play this. It's like. Come on. Work. Work. Frankenstein. Got it. Okay. Okay. Alright. Close the application. Is it closed? I think it is. Unplug it. Okay. Open up the application again. I'm just waiting for the bum, 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 bum. Just wait. Bro. I think we just witnessed um the death of my um A V to HDMI output device. Which means that I'm gonna have to destroy uh like delay this even longer. I think we just witnessed its death. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try one more thing. 
plugging in, doing the whole process again. All right, unplug it, do that. But instead, I plug it in here. Um, take these out, all that, wait a second. Shit. I can't afford to keep spending money on it. Where is it? I lost the wire. Okay, here it is. Okay. I found it. I found it. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Plugging it in. Activating. Oh wait, hold on, wait. I'm not supposed to activate. Sorry. I fucked up the, the process. I forgot I need to open up the application and then do it. Okay. It's like the division. I'm gonna get activated. Here we go. Time. Da -da -dum, da -dum -dum. Maybe if I just unplug it and replug it back in. It'll work, right? Please. Please. Work. Please. Work. Please. 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 Don't do anything. I pick up. We're dead. It's over. It's over. Man, bro. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. I, I can't really. I mean, like, there's nothing I can do. I mean, like, obviously, I can. I, I need to like. Fuck me, dude. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay. Alright. Um. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. What can you do? Alright. Plug you. You're not even working. I don't know why. You're hot. Doing, you're not doing anything. Okay. Turn it back on. This has to be like one of the most like pissy fit like devices I've ever used. This one in the Elgato HD 60s. It's just it's just like they just throw fits. They don't even want to work. They're they're like a sudary something. Plug that in. Make it so the wire is like not like fucked up or something. Like that's like an issue or something. Okay, please work. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please. Nope. Nope. It's over. It's over. It died at, at the. It died at the funniest possible moment that it could have died. Um, so that's that, <laughs> but, you know, I was going to do Bloodborne today, and then I was just like, maybe I should, maybe I should try doing the, boy, was I wrong, boy, should I have just done Bloodborne today. Well. That's gonna be it. <laughs> That's it. It's it's over until I can get a new um 
AV to HDMI device, um, and hopefully that'll fix my issues. And hopefully it's not an underlying issue with anything else. I know it's not the PlayStation 3, because if I just plug it into my TV, just plug it into the TV just to see, so you can hear, that you, so you know, well, I already turned the TV off, PlayStation off, whatever, who cares. Damn it, man. Well. That's going to be more money down the drain. Am I right? It lasted me an okay amount of time. But I feel like I never got an adequate amount of time out of it. In my opinion. So, that's great. Love it. Um... It's unfortunate that, like I said before, like, technology is, it's, it's something that, like, I want, I, like, obviously I want to buy a game and I own the game, you know, um, so, like, I own this game now. The problem is, is that it's, it's like one day I'm never going to be able to play it again, right? One day it's just going to not work anymore. And this device, this AV to HDMI device really shows just how little control we have over when a device decides to just break on you. Um, and it's like. The only thing I can do to even fix it is I have to either hope that it just randomly fixes itself. Maybe it got too hot. I'm thinking the thing is, is that it got, it, it wasn't designed well, the thing that I got. It's, it wasn't designed well. I think I got it on Amazon. Um, and it just basically, like, it probably fried itself from getting too hot because there's no... The way that it works, it's just like there's a lot of stuff going on there where you have to power it up. You have to power it with a separate power, like you have to plug it in and it doesn't just convert it automatically from AV to HDMI. You have to plug it in, which is a whole other thing for some reason. I don't know why it does that. Um, and it's like... I can't really play this game. I can't play Silent Hill 3 without emulation. And even with emulation, it has problems with the emulation that is impossible to fix. So, for example, the only real decent, um, the only real decent, um, emulation, like, out there for PlayStation 2, for you to even be able to somewhat have an idea on, like, actually preserving this game to some degree looks like somebody's actually going out of their way to do an enhanced version of silent hill 2 which is not what i wanted i wanted to do silent hill 3 okay, i was looking for the yeah the wiki so the wiki uh, is a really great place that tells you all of the known issues for the game there's three things that are that are uh that there's issues with the emulated version that is regardless it doesn't matter if you put your disc in or do anything like that so one of the known issues is misaligned shadows there's some workaround around it that you have to go through a whole other thing just to even kind of fix it um but you have to kind of pick and choose at this point on what gets fixed and what doesn't missing grain effects again you have to specifically either choose like Hardware, Vulcan hardware, or software. So you have to pick and choose which one you want to do. Or glitchy sat status screen. So the status screen will look different and not look good. And there's really no way of fixing this one. And you can't just play the game as is. Like as if you're playing it on the PlayStation 2. It's impossible for you to do that. At this point in time. Uh, and that's why I want to play it on the actual hardware itself because that's the intended purpose. That's how the game is intended to be played. It's just frustrating because it, it's hard for me to even record it. 
Um, and um, it just sucks because like there's no way for me to just buy the game on PC and it looks and plays exactly like it did on PlayStation 2. There's no way to do that. It always has to be like, oh look, here's a remastered version of the game. Oh look, here's the PC version of the game, except it's it's fucking garbage and they put no effort into trying to preserve the style and aesthetic of the game. Um, so it's never just as simple as porting a game over. It, they have to do extra stuff to it. Uh, there's some games where it's like, uh, like a good example, I guess, would be uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated would be a good example of a game that was just basically upgraded to be 60 uh, frames per second. And I think maybe they added a little bit of extra content to it. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the exact same game as it used to be. And now you can actually just play it and you don't have to, you can buy it digitally. Although I, I still think that buying it digitally sucks. At least it still would make it more more likely there's a more likely chance that it'll be preserved um than it be f a physical disc although i do prefer physical discs personally um there is a chance that you know like that specific disc because one day the company will just not make it anymore and then it becomes impossible for people to play because there's no way, other way to, of playing it and that's the case for all the silent hill games pretty much except for silent hill 2 which is coming out but again that's not a that's not the exact silent hill 2 that's going to be a remake done by the layers of fear devs so it's going to be different control scheme different kind of style going on with it more graphic stuff going on and it's probably going to have completely different gameplay from what the games kind of set out to have originally so it's going, it's kind of like the Resident Evil 4 remake. It's completely different from the original Resident Evil 4 game. Um, and there's a lot of detail and just like attention to detail. There's a lot of like effort and in, in the gameplay and everything for the original game. And then Resident Evil 4 is just like modern controls, um, harder difficulty, um, uh, and it, it's it's raining <laughs> also um um what's her name is is like even worse i forgot what her name was <laughs> the girl that you have to pr the pr president's daughter she's like even more annoying and obnoxious to to deal with in the game and you have to like bring her around everywhere it's annoying anyways so I'm going to try to fix get a fix for this. So next stream, which is going to be on Sunday, which is daylight savings time, by the way. Um, so on Sunday, we're going to play some Bloodborne. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sh order after I finish in the stream here. I didn't want to end it early. I was trying to go for like a four or five hour stream today. <clears throat> Or, you know, like, get back to... I wanted to get back to the point that I was in the last episode, which was, like, a year ago. So, I'm hoping, yeah, that I can get something with that. I'm gonna keep trying. Fix it. All that stuff. So, anyways. Have a good morning. Uh, hold on. Ma'am. Have a good morning, a good day, good afternoon, good night, whatever. Um, this is the most scuffed stream I think I've had in a little bit because it's other than the Sly Cooper Part 2. Sly Cooper Part 2 was me struggling to deal with the exact same problem that I dealt with here, except it actually kept running for the rest of the stream. Okay. In this case, it just straight up died on me or it just refuses to want to work right now. For whatever reason it's just it's just like yeah i don't want to work i just don't want to and i think the reason why it didn't work is gonna this is gonna be the reason why i think it didn't work i left it on like i left it plugged in and on because i was afraid that if i unplug it or do anything with it it's not gonna work anymore for so i had it on for i think an hour so i guess um in that case it means that it works for about maybe two hours before it starts um, not wanting to function anymore. 
which is not how it used to be. If you believe it or not. It used to just work fine. And it's just died on me. Anyways, yeah. Um, see you in the next one. My throat's dry.